Hi everybody, Wendy from Cinnamon Sweet Shop. I just, within minutes, came into the door from Trader Joe's, the one in Princeton. And I wanted to give you a quick review of just like a handful of products that I bought because some of them I will be using in an upcoming recipe as well. So, first of all, look at my nice reusable Trader Joe's bag. One of my clients brought this back for me from California. The bag has a lot of pictures of things that California is known for also on the other side which I'm not turning the background to show you take my word for it anyway first I did get some of their organic air popped popcorn only because it's just all popcorn popped in sunflower oil and some sea salt I don't want any of that fake buttery stuff on it just plain old popcorn is good enough for me then, let's see how I can reach. I also got some of their organic corn chip dippers. I don't know if I've ever tried these before. Maybe, maybe not. Not sure. Then I bought, and I am going to do a first taste while I have this video rolling. They're Joe's Dark Coffee Squares. Here it is. Hold it up to the camera so you can see it better. It is a sweet treat coffee you can eat. So I will be doing a first taste of this. And, oops, I did get some buttermilk only because, as I said, I will be using this in an upcoming recipe for my whoopie pies. I'm going to quickly put this in the refrigerator. I will be right back. some queso cheese to go with the dippers. I always read the ingredients of everything I buy, especially from Trader Joe's, because most cases, not always, but most cases, their foods are made with all natural ingredients, a lot healthier. Also got some roasted sunflower seeds. Now these I did get salted. Usually I get them unsalted. And I think this is the last thing. Yep, this says, let me take this and move this away. Very important, I really want to do a video just on this, but these are the Trader Joe's marshmallows. And I like these because I have made marshmallows on my own in the past. I like them a little healthier. I don't like corn syrup. These, my friends, are corn syrup free. And for my vegan friends, they are vegan. So I'll tell you, read the main ingredients. There's really only a handful in here. Tapioca star syrup. That's what they use in place of corn syrup. I've used it before in my recipes. It's a little difficult to get though. Cane sugar. While it's still sugar and it's still fattening, cane sugar is a better choice than your regular refined sugars. Water, tapioca starch, carrageenan, soy protein, natural vanilla flavor. So there you have it. I am going to be using these also in an upcoming recipe. I think it's for the whoopie pies. So, I'm gonna open these up and do a first taste of these coffee squares. It's got a nice resealable bag able to open this. Sometimes the packaging is worse than anything. I always end up breaking the seal by doing this, but it's the only way I'm able to open this. Got it. Or did I? No, I didn't. Sometime today I'll get to this. They don't want me to try this. I could just go up and get a pair of scissors. That would probably be the logical thing to do. Alright, I'm going to get scissors to cut this. I'll be right back. Okay, well I had to cut the whole thing off, including the resealable uh, part of that. 
So these better be worth it. And you know what? They're individually wrapped, so it doesn't even matter. You don't even need that seal. Anyway, so I'm going to open this up. I hope this is easier to open. Yes. Nice little square. Mmm. These are really good. One's just enough, too, but they're really good. So I would give this a thumbs up. Just don't like the packaging, but the candy, it's well worth it. So guys, see you all in some upcoming videos where, as I said, I'll be using this, and I'm going to be using some of the buttermilk. See you all next time. Bye-bye.